Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Kayla and welcome. So banana bread is hands down one of my favorite things to make, especially this time of year. I don't know what it is, but whenever the temperature starts to drop, I start to crave more homemade baked goods like breads and muffins and things like that. And banana bread's definitely at the top of that list. Now I've already shared with y'all my paleo regular banana bread recipe over on the blog years ago, which I will link for y'all below. But I wanted to share my banana bread protein bars because it's a slightly different recipe and these are great to have on hand if you need a quick healthy snack, dessert, or even as an on-the-go breakfast because each bar contains 10 grams of protein. They're so easy to make y'all and super delicious. Probably the best paleo banana bread recipe you'll ever try. They're extra moist and best of all they're gluten-free, grain-free, and dairy-free. And like I said, these are great as a healthy snack or dessert, but if you want to work them into your breakfast meal prep routine, I do recommend pairing them with something like boiled eggs and a side of berries, and that way you have a well-rounded meal of healthy fats, proteins, and carbs, and that's going to keep you fuller longer. And best of all, you can actually batch prep these protein bars because they'll stay fresh in the freezer for up to 30 days, and later in the video, I'm going to show you how to properly store them. And as always, today's recipe will be posted on my blog where you can print it off, and I've also listed the calorie count and full macros over there as well. The link will be listed in the description box below. But anyway, let's head to the kitchen and get started. So if you've ever made any type of banana bread, you know the key to making it taste delicious is making sure your bananas are super ripe. Make sure they have spots on them. And honestly, they could be even more ripe than the ones I have here. But don't ever let your overripe bananas go to waste again because you can always make these banana bread bars. The first thing we're gonna do is mash up the bananas. I like to roughly mash them up with a fork first. And by the way, I'm using two medium-sized bananas because I like my bread to be super moist, but you can also use one and a half bananas if you prefer less moisture. Then I'll go in with my immersion blender, and this is what gets the consistency extra smooth, which does make a big difference with the final texture. Now let's add in all the wet ingredients first, starting with two eggs, one tablespoon of melted coconut oil. You can also use avocado oil or even melted butter or ghee. But for this recipe, I do prefer the coconut oil. Three tablespoons of raw honey. You can also use pure maple syrup and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Give that a good mix until everything is fully combined. And now we're gonna add in the dry ingredients, starting with two cups of almond flour. Now make sure when you're measuring out the almond flour. It's loosely packed into the measuring cup. You don't want it to be tightly packed in there because the texture of the bread will turn out too dense. And for the protein powder, I like to use my collagen peptides, but of course any type of unflavored protein powder will work. I'm adding in two scoops, which is 20 grams of protein. Now let's add in our spices, including two teaspoons of cinnamon and half a teaspoon of nutmeg. I'm also adding in one teaspoon of aluminum-free baking soda and a pinch of sea salt. Give that a good mix until everything is fully combined and all the lumps are gone. Now at this point, you can really get creative with it and add in some extra things like chopped walnuts, nuts, chopped pecans, chocolate chips, and even shredded coconut. And feel free to change it up each time you make it, and that way you'll have different variations of this banana bread recipe. But today, I'm going to keep it super simple with the basic recipe. All right, let's grease an 8x8 baking dish, making sure you coat the bottom and sides of the dish really well. Once that's done, transfer your bread mixture into the dish, spreading it out as evenly as possible. And I feel like every banana bread recipe has to have some sort of toppings to make it look pretty. So I'm gonna add some banana slices and some chopped pecans. And I'm just gently pressing them into the bread mixture with my spatula. Now let's bake the bread at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 25 to 30 minutes or until the center is set. I baked mine for exactly 25 minutes. Once it's done, remove it from the oven and let it cool completely. Once it's cooled, you can go ahead and cut it into eight bars. And each bar is only 255 calories and has 10 grams of protein. These are gonna last in the fridge for up to a week and in the freezer for up to one month. But I can't wait for y'all to try these banana bread bars because they are 
are so full of flavor. They're extra moist and you can have them as a healthy snack, healthy dessert, an on-the-go breakfast, or even take them to a holiday party. But I promise you will be making these on repeat. Now, if you want to add these to your breakfast meal prep rotation, like I said earlier, I like to round it out with something like boiled eggs and berries on the side. And that way you're getting in some healthy proteins, carbs, and healthy fats, which are going to help to keep you fuller longer. And if you want to batch prep and freeze these bars, I would recommend wrapping each one individually. And that way you can defrost them one or two at a time as you need them. But Darrell and I ate these up so fast. They didn't even last three days in our house. So I went ahead and made a larger batch and I'll be freezing half of them for later in the month. But these banana bread bars are a must try and the kids are going to love them too. Well, all right, y'all, that is it for today's video. My paleo banana bread protein bars. I hope y'all give these a try because they are so delicious. And comment below. Let me know how you like them. If you give any of my recipes a try or any of my meal preps, be sure to tag me on Instagram and I will reshare that on my stories. Of course, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up to let me know. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet and you enjoy healthy recipes, healthy meal preps, lifestyle advice, all that good stuff, be sure to hit that subscribe button below. But that's it for today. I'll see you on the next video. Bye.